Hello, my name is Jamie Donnelly, and I'm here to demonstrate how to customize the whack-a-mole game that I created. Let me describe the game. The game consists of 24 circles, which are linked to other pages with questions. I decided to make a game where all the students could actively participate, so I made each problem a smart response question. This allows me to assess each student quickly. This lesson could easily be used in a classroom even without the smart response system. Let me briefly describe how I made the whack-a-mole game. I began with the green background. And added several circles which I filled with color. I had a difficult time finding a picture of a mole, so I decided to draw and clone a picture on the smart board. I put the mole on each circle and then grouped them together. I locked the circles in place when I was done. I added a hammer by creating several shapes together and filling it with color. I brought the hammer to the top of the screen and infinitely cloned it. This allows me to use as many hammers as I need for the game. I decided to add a second hammer at the bottom of the screen for the shorter students who would have had a difficult time reaching up to the top. Students could use the hammer to cover up moles who have already been clipped. In order to prevent a student from pulling up the same question, a hammer would go on top of the mole, therefore activating the hammer instead of the link. The beauty of Whack-A-Mole is that it can be adapted to use for any subject. I allow my students to use a koosh ball to throw at the smart board. The koosh ball is safe for the smart board because it's made of rubber strings with a soft rubber core. I will now describe how a teacher can customize the Whack-A-Mole game for their own classroom. All of the links are already set on the main page, so you're ready to begin. First, you will need to go to a page with a question. The pages already contain questions. You will double click on the question in order to change the text. When you change your question, don't forget to also change your answer. When you have changed all of your questions and answers, go to File, Save As, and title your game. Thank you for joining me on this video tutorial and I hope this game helps you assess your students in a fun, interactive way.